And I love this verse in verse 53. I love how dramatic the Bible is. Horror had taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. What is he saying there? He's saying, look, when I see wicked people that have totally forsaken God's law, I'm horrified. Right. Now, shouldn't that be our reaction? You know, when we see people just given over to drunkenness, given over to idolatry, given over to fornication, given over to adultery, given over to covetousness, given over to laziness, given over to drug addiction. You know, when we see people who just don't go to church and just live a wicked life, you know what? We ought to be horrified by that. We ought to turn on the TV and see people living a worldly sinful life and just say, this horrifies me. Horror, and I, that's pretty dramatic, horror has taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. But we become desensitized to it, right? You know, when you pitch your tent towards Sodom every day, you stop being horrified by it. And you know, a lot of people can't understand my preaching about Sodom. It's because they're not horrified by it the way I'm horrified by it. I'm horrified. You know, what is that word horror? What do you think of when you think of the word horror? What does that mean, horror? I mean, that's a pretty powerful word, isn't it? Is that a word that you would throw around lightly? You know, what, when we think of horror in 2018, what would come to mind is like a genre of books or movies, right? And what are these books or movies that are a horror genre? What are they known for? Basically just showing you the most grotesque things possible, right? They're going to show you just gore and just the scariest possible things that you would dread more than anything else. Just horrific, disgusting, horrible things. See, these words are related. Horrible, right? This is what we think of when we hear horror. You know, that's how we feel about the sodomites. Like, we're horrified. You know, when we see adultery going on, it's just we're horrified by that, right? When we see idolatry and drunkenness, you know, we should be horrified. But you say, well, I'm not. What's the big deal, Pastor Anderson? I don't understand why you get so worked up about that. What's the big deal? I mean, it's just drinking. It's just fags. It's just whatever. Who cares? What's the big deal? It's just an affair. Somebody just had an affair. What's the big deal? You know what? You're not horrified by it because you're desensitized to it. You know, we ought to meditate in God's word and see, we need to, we need to calibrate our, our meter on what's normal and what horrifies us and what delights us. We need to get that thing calibrated with God's word. So this needs to become our normal dial right here, right? This becomes our, so we need to get our needle adjusted to where this is our normal. So then when we go out in the world and we see things that just totally forsake God's law, we're like, whoa, because our needle's just like. <laughs> but see, you've got, your needle is right where the world's needle is. So where the world lives a life contrary to God's word, that's your normal. And then when you go to church, you're like, whoa, this is so godly. Right? Because your needle is calibrated on the world's normal. So when you go to church, you're like, whoa, so radical. Pastor Anderson's crazy, you know. Or, oh, man, look at the way these people live their lives. I can't even believe it. And then you go out in the world, and your needle's just on the zero, just normal, right? And then you, like, watch the worst, glorious horror movie, and your needle's just like, just kind of goes a little bit, a little bit. I mean, nothing gets you over here, you know. But see, to those of us who have got our meter calibrated to God's word, you know, we go to church and we're just right in the middle. We're just like, yeah, this is another day at the office. We read Leviticus. We read the Gospels. We read the book of Romans. We read Corinthians. And we're just like, amen. This is normal. We go to church. We go soul winning. And we just, this is just another day at the office. We're on a missions trip. It's just like, this is who we are. And then we see the sinfulness out there, and we're just like, whoa! And, and, it's, and then we see something really godly, and we're just kind of like, hmm. So we're, like, we're the exact opposite. So we need to get calibrated onto God's word so that horror, I love this verse. Isn't this great? Verse 53, horror 
hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. I mean, just like, ah! What? What? Pastor, what happened? I just got exposed to sinfulness. <laughs> I just visited the bar. You know, I just drove through New Orleans, Louisiana, or I just had to drive through Las Vegas, Nevada, or I, I that billboard, it's just like, ah! What's wrong with you? Horror had taken hold of me because of the wicked that forsake God's law. 